Welcome back bike addicts. Today is another, not new bike day, but another bike day. I have picked this up today. Uh, I was supposed to be out on the spesh, but weather was atrocious again. Didn't stop raining this morning. Plus, I ended up in work, which I'm glad of because I've actually uh, got this from my boss. So, this is the Norco, uh, Norco Stone. So, it's orange. I'm not keen on this orange. So, basically what I'm going to do, this is the new project. So, if you know me, I rebuild bikes, even if they're brand new, I still rebuild them. And this is going to be no exception. So, this is basically the cheapest of the cheapest that you can get in this uh, model. And I'm going to go over the parts on it, and these parts are... Now, Norco are a really good make. I, th I think these are like a, you know, a higher class bike than like most. They're not in like the Carrera category or anything like that. You know, they are in like a uh, Trek Giant uh, category. So, they should be built with better parts than what comes on this. So, Anyway, I'm going to go over the parts, going to do the usual, go over what's on it, and then I have been ordering today. I've ordered a load of new parts for it. So I'm going to go over what's on this bike and how cheap they've made this bike. So let's get started. To the 29er, by the way, it is a I'm not quite sure whether it's a medium frame or a large frame. Because the, uh, the frame geometries are all changing. They all seem to go with that slope. And then the higher seat tube. You know. But anyway, let's get started on this. So. Got your grips on this. Uh, Norco grips, obviously. Norco bike, and then oh my god, what the hell were they thinking? They've put Shimano Turney brake levers and shift shifters on. These are like the lowest of the low. You know, you couldn't get any lower than these. So, you know, they are mechanical disc brakes. So at least they're not V brakes, but they are mechanical disc brakes these are going to be getting changed believe me and then you got the norco bars i am actually going to leave these bars on because i do like these bars and i do like the style of them norco stem the other shifter by the way this is a three times eight so we've got 24 gears on this not that you're going to use the 24 gears you're probably going to use eight at maximum anyway but like i say this the parts is going to get changed on it so anyway the other shifter and brake go down and oh my god why the hell on a bike like this have you put the sr suntour xcms and these like the cheap cheap ones you know they're not they haven't even got lockouts on them so these are definitely getting changed but also we got the wtb tires these are the nine line 2.25 29 inch i'm not sure what hubs are on it and what rims are on it uh you'd have to actually look online they're probably the norco ones Probably in house ones, maybe. So, anyway, let's go up. 
got headset, not even sure what headset that is. Uh, you got your Norco on there. Together forever. Mm. Not quite sure what that lot is. Activate your warranty. <coughs> so anyway, seat post, Norco one, Norco seat. We go down to the crank set. It is a Shimano crank set. And it is only a cheap turny crank set, and then you've got the cheap turny front mech, cheap old pedals, they are metal, but well, they're not very good, not quite sure what chain that is, and then you've got just a cheap rear cassette, and then you've got the turny TX, by the looks of it, you know, just cheap all round. You know, you've got there's your mechanical brake caliper. Yeah, so this is basically the bike. Now I am I'm not gonna go for a ride on it. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strip this thing down to just the frame. Forks are going to come off, everything's going to come off, probably bin all the crap on it. Because uh, to be honest, it's not even worth keeping. So, I will keep the bars, the stem, seat post, I will change the seat. Um, I'll keep the wheels. Um, oh, I'll keep the bottle carrier. Because that's probably worth more than the other parts all put together so like i say everything's going to come off it and i'm going to do a full respray uh, i have decided on the color i'm just going to make this bike look like a thousand pound bike at the minute it looks like a 50 pound bike or a 50 pound piece of scrap so, you know, sorry Norco, not your fault, and like I say, I do like the Norco bikes, it's just, you know, it hasn't been looked after, so, it's going to have a full makeover, and then, I will take it out for the test run. After I've test run specialised, obviously, because I need to get that done. Uh, unfortunately, I know it's Saturday today. Uh, like I say, it was absolutely hammering it down all day today. And then I am in work tomorrow, so I've not even had a day off this week. And I'm going to try and get a day off in the week so I can go and get the paint. I'm going to go to my old mate, unfortunately he died, but uh, thankfully his daughters took over the place. Uh, and his uh, son-in-law. So I'm still going to, you know, go there to get me paints. It's an auto paint shop. So I'm going to go there to get the paints because I know they'll do a cracking job on mixing the paint when I want. I have got a colour in mind, but I need to be there to basically col do the colours, get the right colour match for the bike. Because I have already ordered the decals for this bike. And like I say, I'm going to take all the paint off it and you know take it down to bare metal. And then I'm going to make it into a brand new bike. Because it deserves to be made into something decent. Like I say, Norco, I've got a good reputation. They are good bikes. 
but unfortunately this isn't one of them yet so anyway hopefully uh, this isn't going to take too long but you'll see stage by stage through the video anyway so you won't have to wait around you know this is probably going to take me a couple of weeks to do uh, it's like the amount of time that I have off is uh, at the minute in existence so but anyway I'll carry on with this and I'll strip it down and then you can see what it's like when it's stripped so I've prepped the frame got the paint off it and I've just put two coats of primer on it get ready for uh, tomorrow's paint session I will uh, let this dry smooth it down some uh, scratch pads some very fine scratch pads and then what I'll do I'll put the top coat on then when the decals come I'll put them on and then I will lacquer it as well so this is the next stage as you can see it's gone okay so I just have to uh, let this lot dry now okay so just put the first coat on it it's only a light coat okay it does seem a little bit quite a bit on the light but uh, I've only just put it over it so as you can see this will be the colour like an anthracite with a touch of blue in it I know you can't tell at the minute but you will be able to when it's finished okay guys that's coat number three on all sides now uh, I'm going to do another coat now and then leave that to dry over a bit and then coach number four and five will go on then what we'll do we'll leave it to dry got to wait for new day calls to come they're still not come yet so hopefully they'll come today or tomorrow we can get the day calls on and then I'm going to lacquer it as well even though it is metallic it still needs a lacquer on it and then I will helicopter tape it as well so I've got some nice uh, gloss helicopter tape to go over the frame once it's done so it doesn't get damaged and then they will be all set to put all the parts on so this is where we're up to the bike's been sprayed up decals are on still waiting on my storm decals probably monday and what i'll do i'll put a quick coat of lacquer over them and then helicopter tape i've done a little bit of helicopter tape on it but for some reason well, somehow i've lost my other uh, gloss helicopter tape I'm going to have to have a good look for it I'm not quite sure where I put it I did put it somewhere I've got that much stuff I need to find it but anyway so this is now where we're up to 
I did put the forks on uh, just so you could see what the bike's actually going to look like when it's done. So, next stage is I start putting all the parts on it. Uh, I'm going to be changing the discs on it, I'm going to be changing the cassette. Got a Holotech uh, crank set for it, so that'll be going on as well. So, hopefully, soon. Won't be far off done. So guys, I did forget to do oh, little updates. We're up to on building the bike. I actually got a bit carried away, completely forgot. I did have the GoPro on charge as well. So I just got you know, I just got sidetracked and stuff and plus as well. I had to take stuff off the track uh, to put on this uh, because I'm actually upgrading the track. I know I said I wasn't going to do, um, but one way I'm going to do is I'm going to put my XTR parts on the track. I'm going to go full XTR uh, gears and that brakes. Um, just keeping the crank set as it is because it's the race face crank set and that um, I put the XTR seat post on the uh, orange actually uh, so that might have to come off and then go on there but I don't know I just leave as is so anyway this is where I'm up to it's basically finished except for the rear brake um, I'm gonna probably change these tires out because I don't like these tires I don't know whether it's just to leave them on for the first ride because uh, they are the original tires which are on all the models of the bike uh, so the, basically this is now the Storm 2 or 2.0 because it's like got better parts on than the Storm so I'll do a quick uh, show over of what's on it. So like I say, we start at the bars again. Got the original uh, grips on it. So we've got the Tektro brake on it, which is the same as on the two. Uh, the Dior shifter, which is the same on the two. Norco bars and stem. Obviously, the other brake's missing at the minute. But this is a change. Uh, these are the... Suntor XCTs, which is the better than the XCMs. Uh, it's got the XCM lockouts on the Storm 2, but these are the XCT lockout, which is the better fork. Um, same wheels and hubs, same tyres, the um, WTB 9 line, 29er by was it a two, two, 225. And then I've had to change the headset on this because the steerage tube wasn't quite long enough on it. So um, I've had to change the headset because it was actually about up here and um, there wasn't enough space to put the stem onto the steerage tube. So I put that one on for now. I am going to change it because uh, this is going to go back onto the track. I just wanted to see and get it all completed first so uh, I might put an FSA uh, headset on the track instead and just leave this one on here so um, top cap I have found the um, helicopter tape but the only problem was I did have enough as well to do the complete bike because I did buy quite a lot of it. The only thing is I didn't have the 150 mil stuff to put on the down tube, but I did have it in the uh, matte finish. The only thing is with the matte finish, it does show all bloody bubbles up and everything. But as long as it's protecting the bike, I'm not really bothered. So anyway that's 
Uh, seat tube there, don't like that seat, that's coming off. Um, so we've got the Holotech uh, crank set, um, 36 tooth chain ring. I've decided to put that on just to see what it's uh, what difference it makes. I think I've got a 32 on one bike, 34 on another bike. So I thought I'd try a 36, see what difference it is. Uh, so we've got new pedals as well. Um, might say complete revamp of the paintwork. It has took a couple of days to do the paintwork. Uh, waiting for the stickers as well. You know, it does take time for uh, eBay is to put me send stuff out. So, but anyway, so I put the your clutch mech on off the trek and the cassette and the chain. So that's all set up now. Uh, basically, the bike is now complete. Well, except for the back brake, which is just got to find that. Um, Olive and insert, and then I can put the back brake on. Well, I'm not quite sure where it's gone. Well, I've actually got about two or three of them to be honest. I'm not sure where they are. So, but anyway, that's where I am up to on this. Like I say it's basically almost finished. Uh, I'm not doing any more today. You know, it's after four o'clock so uh, like I say I had to take parts off the uh, other bike and that and then I was looking for blooming parts and uh, trying to find my blooming tools and stuff I keep on losing stuff for some reason kind of like disappears I think this is only me here to make them disappear so anyway like I say, the track is going to go the X, full XTR stuff on it. Um, the specialised, I was hoping to get out on it today, uh, but weather wasn't permitting. Plus, I say I've, I've gone and blown the turbo on my car, so I've got to get that sorted. Um, wasn't a good thing. I can still drive it, but it's uh it's not well <laughs> but as long as it gets me to work and back it's all that matters so anyway i'll be doing the specialized video when i can and then i'll just do the ride video and then what i'm going to do i'm going to do like this an upgrade video <coughs> And then show you so basically this <coughs> is the box of parts you see got the XT okay. the crank set there there's the seat post got the XT uh, is that the shifter? Yeah, that's the shifter. Then you got the XT mech down below. Um, there's the uh, seats. There the brakes. Pedals. Face face. Uh, stem. The bars on the way. Uh, I've got, uh, uh, got a cassette somewhere as well. Actually, I think it's probably in there anyway. So I've got the cassette in there as well. And uh, I'll do a complete update video on that when it's all done. So I probably won't get this video uh, out till tomorrow anyway. So. Like I say, uh, I am in work tomorrow, being a Sunday, so I'll be uh, busy at work, so I won't be able to get anything else done. But anyway, this is 
where the bike stands now. So I'm going to say I'm going to keep this bit short, but the video is probably going to be long anyway. Because there's a few sections to it. So next time you see this bike, I will be out riding it. Unless somebody's uh, already bought it off me, which I've already had people <laughs> messaging me already. So I'm like, no, it's not ready. It's not ready for sale yet. I want to uh, test ride it first. So I will be uh, out on it. Well, like I say, first is the specialised rock hopper uh, video. Yeah, test ride on that, and then. Uh, I'll do the upgrades, I'll do a separate video for the upgrades for that bike as well because otherwise it might be a little bit too long so anyway keep watching folks hope you like this bike now it's all basically done I think it looks a hell of a lot better than it did before I think uh, these uh, bike companies should come and see me decide on what colours to uh, do the bikes because specialized what are you doing your bike in yellow for and peach uh, I don't know so anyway I love this bike now it looks a hell of a lot better I'm gonna have to pull that seat post up a little bit more because it is a little bit low down uh, well anyway keep watching like I say, hit that subscribe button if you want to watch some more videos. And I will see you all soon.